Today I'm going to tell you the advantages and disadvantages of being a beauty therapist. I'm going to start with the disadvantages just so I can end the video in a nice way. Um, so the first disadvantage is that you have to work on weekends. It does depend on your manager though because the first two years of my career um, I've worked in salons where I would have to work weekends and then in my third year I was at a different salon they offered me one Sunday off a month. The place I'm at now she wants it to be fair for everyone so we get a weekend and a half off a month. Not gonna lie I was a little bit emotional in the interview when she told me I'm gonna get a weekend and a half off a month. I was about to cry from happiness. Another disadvantage is not knowing your rota. Again, this depends on your manager. There are some managers where they provide a rota for you a month in advance. So you can make plans because you have a life and it's nice to know your schedule. But there have been a couple salons I've worked at where there is no such thing as a rota. The manager doesn't make a rota. The furthest I know is what I'm doing next week and that's not enough. The next disadvantage is that it's sometimes hard to have a social life when you're a beauty therapist because you work on weekends and because of the hours that we do. There was this one salon, I honestly had no social life. Full time, I worked 10 till 8, so it was long hours. I didn't have the energy to go out after work. I probably saw my friends twice that year. That's how much of a social life I had. Another disadvantage is the medical issues that can come with this job, including back pain, your hands and your fingers and your wrists ache, you can develop eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis because your hands are constantly in products, constantly washing your hands. A lot of these can be avoided but some of them can't which is why it's a disadvantage. Another disadvantage is having short lunch time. Most of the salons I've worked at you get half an hour lunch and it's not always enough especially when you don't bring your own lunch it just it goes so quick. By the time you go out and get something to eat and come back 15 minutes is already gone but yeah I think for five minutes salon managers out there can we have 45 minutes please while we're talking about food the next disadvantage is eating at odd times you're not eating at the same time every day if i'm doing a morning shift i'm eating my breakfast at 8 15 my lunch at one o'clock and then i finish at 5 30 so my dinner is probably around 6 30 on a late shift because i wake up later so my breakfast is around 10 o'clock lunch is around three or four o'clock and then I finish at eight, so I eat around nine, which is not good. The next disadvantage, if you're a beauty therapist, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. If you cut your hand by accident, it's game over. You don't think like a normal person and think, oh no, I cut my finger. You think, oh crap, I've got work tomorrow. So how am I gonna massage someone or do a facial on someone with a fat plaster around my finger. It's funny because the disadvantage is that you have to be extra, extra careful with your hands. You do not want to cut these babies because you need this for your job. It's like when Joey lost his health insurance and he was like, oh man, like before I could catch on fire and it wouldn't matter, now I've got to be careful. One morning I was trying to slice a bagel in half and it's harder than you think. And I sliced my thumb open and uh, how am I going to work with this, with this? And, and you know what? I get extra paranoid because I think, oh, what if I catch something from someone? One time I was cutting um, an avocado and it, I sliced my palm, that's the worst. The last disadvantage is how some people might perceive you. Some people think that you're not intelligent because you're a beauty therapist, they don't realize the amount of studying that we have to do. There's so much anatomy and physiology involved. You learn about the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, the nervous system, the layers of the skin, the bones, the muscles, the blood, you there's a lot that goes into it but people don't know this and they think that you just learn how to paint someone's nails and that's it and they don't see that as a skill either. I used to get really angry and raise my voice at people who said stuff like that to me um, but I found that the most effective way to deal with it is tell them how much studying goes into it and what you have to learn. They go quiet and then they feel stupid. But yeah, I definitely don't recommend that you go all aggressive and rah. I know you want to, but you can just be like, actually, we learn about all of the systems in the body, in the human body. I wouldn't recommend you be all big headed about it because just because you know about the cardiovascular system doesn't necessarily mean that you're intelligent. I think we're, we're all intelligent in our own fields. I think another thing actually, the way people 
judge you. I don't only do treatments on females, this salon's mixed. I do treatments on males and females. Males also get manicures and pedicures done, they also get waxing done and massages done and I do get a lot of people who judge me. They don't see that it's professional and that this is just my job. Another thing, I have had people, they don't see it as a career, which is weird because the people who say this to me, it's normally people who get treatments done themselves. It's like, you don't see it as a career, but you go to the salon yourself. You pay my people, <laughs> you pay beauty therapists for your treatments, but you don't see it as a career. Well, clearly it is a career or it's men who say this to me and, it, and their girlfriends or their wives get their treatments done by me. And I know that when their wife hits 50 or whatever age and they start getting sagging skin, they're gonna come to me for advice and they're gonna come and pay me to fix their face. So it's like, it drives me mad. But let's move on to the advantages. So the first advantage of being a beauty therapist is that there are plenty, plenty of jobs and it's so easy to find a job. And if you think about it, they can't really get like machines to replace us. I can't imagine people paying a robot to paint their nails or waxing their bits and giving them a massage. I mean, I know that there are massage chairs, but it's not the same thing, is it? The next advantage of being a beauty therapist is how flexible this job is. If you have children, for example, and you say, I can work from nine until 2.30 because then you need to pick up your kids at three. There are managers out there who will accept that. There are a lot of companies, especially like spas, for example, they do hire a lot of people who are on a zero hour contract. Um, so they just call you when they need you or maybe you do one day a week, maybe one day every two weeks. And obviously it's flexible because there are people who do a full-time job and on top of that, they do beauty therapy outside those hours, so they do it privately. The next advantage is that you can have your own business easily. You can rent a room, you can open your own salon, you can turn a spare room in your house into a beauty room, you can do mobile beauty. I've made a video on how you can start your own mobile beauty company, I'll link that video down below. Another advantage is how many doors open up in the beauty industry. There are so many routes that you can take. I've also made a video on like the different routes that you can take and the different jobs that you can do within the within the beauty industry um, and I'll link that video down below as well. The next advantage is how rewarding this job is. I don't care what anybody says, any treatment that you do on someone, after you finish that treatment, they instantly feel so much better about themselves and that makes me feel really, really good. Another advantage is that you're always learning. There's always new things coming out and you're constantly learning and that way you don't get bored. Now, I know that I said in my disadvantages that people can perceive you in a bad way, but there are definitely people who perceive you in a good way and that's an advantage. There have been so many times where I've told people I'm a beauty therapist and the response I got was really good. It was, oh, that's so nice. One time I had a customer, she's never been to a spa before and she was like, oh my God, it, this is such a lovely place to work. You must love working here. It's so relaxing. It wasn't too busy. It was quiet and quite chilled. So I was having a good day. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I really like working here. It's really nice. But I remember another time when someone else said the same same thing and that was a busy day like I was dripping sweat from my butt crack because I was running around everywhere and when she said oh this is such a relaxing place to work I was like mm-hmm yeah ah the next um, advantage is that you can do your own treatments. I always do my own nails. The final advantage is the staff discounts that you get on products or off the gym. So at the moment I'm working at a spa in a leisure center and I get to use the gym for free, the swimming pool for free, the classes, everything is free and it's so nice. It's just nice that we get such a good discount on skincare products. I get to have a nice skincare range at home for an affordable and extra affordable price. So those are all of the ones that I've personally listed out. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.